Hey guys, it is NCSFan001 here for, I believe this is now the fifth episode of Destiny Cookbook Recipes. Today, we're going to be making the Reveler's Tonic. This is a very long intro. I'm not quite ready to give out the recipe for my original Reveler's Tonic that so many Guardians loved. So I threw together this new version of my famous fizzy drink to get everyone in the holiday spirit. I heard, though, that things got slightly out of hand. The Guardians, who had a bit too much, wound up challenging each other to do increasingly wild acrobatics off flagpoles and drapery, and even leaping off the tower. Okay, that's actually pretty funny. They made quite a ruckus. Of course, I do not regret... Of course, I do not begrudge any guardian the freedom to let loose and enjoy life. Finding joy is so important. Uh, this is an easy difficulty recipe that takes only five minutes to make. It yields one cup of tonic, and it is vegan. Our ingredients are quite simple. You're going to need two tablespoons of apple juice, two teaspoons of non-alcoholic curaco, or curacao, or however that word is supposed to be pronounced, two teaspoons of lime juice, you're going to need ice a couple of times, and you're going to need sparkling grape juice. You're also going to need a cocktail shaker. All right, so this recipe should be fairly easy to make, and I've got the camera zoomed down so you can see all the ingredients and stuff a little more easily. Like I said, it's very few ingredients as long as you have a cocktail shaker, so that's kind of nice. So our first and major step is to combine the apple juice, curacao, however that's pronounced, maybe you guys can tell me in the comments, and the lime juice into a cocktail shaker that has been filled with ice. So let's go ahead and do that. So. I do have a confession to make. I could not find a standard curacao, whatever it is, that isn't that doesn't have alcohol in it. This is the only one I could find, and I looked in a lot of stores. I'm going to explain this more in the next drink video, which should be the next episode, just how much hell I have gone through recently to get some specific ingredients for these recipes. So we're going to go ahead and combine these. We need the apple juice, the curacao, and the lime juice, so we need two teaspoons of the curacao. I'm gonna just keep saying it that way. So two teaspoons of this. Looks like mouthwash. And that literally looks like mouthwash. So we need two teaspoons of that. We also need two teaspoons of lime juice. So I'll go ahead and pour that while we have the teaspoon measure out. One teaspoon of lime juice. If that leaks on the counter a little bit, that's fine. I'm going to clean this up later. Two teaspoons of lime juice. And now we need two tablespoons, the bigger measure, of apple juice. I think this is going to be pretty good because, I mean, grape juice is good, apple juice is good, lime juice is good, ice is good. I don't know if I've ever had anything with Krakow in it. The guy at the liquor store didn't even know. He didn't. He told me he didn't even know a better way to pronounce it. So, now that we have all of that in, we need to shake vigorously, after covering it of course, for 10 seconds. From that point, we will strain it, pour it into a champagne flute, which I don't have, and top the rest of it with sparkling grape juice. Uh, it doesn't say we need to have ice in the actual glass, so that's good. So, since I don't have a champagne flute, we're going to use a wine glass because it's the closest thing I have to it. I also have some little, like, whiskey glasses, too. I need to see if I can find a good place to get one of these. I'm sure I can get one for fairly cheap. Time for me to bring out my inner bartender. And this is also a new setup. I actually got this at Christmas, and it's a lot nicer than my old one. Together. I think this might be the first time I've used this thing. But yeah, this is like an actual good one, so that's pretty awesome. So, I'm gonna drop this right here, strain it on in. It looks less blue than the normal version. And now we just top it with the sparkling grape juice. So, All right, I'm gonna say that that's probably good enough. Oh, that looks so cool, though. Oh, it's like, it, it looks kind of green, but that actually looks pretty cool. Okay. All right, guys, 
guys, so let's give the Revelers Tonic a try. I think this is going to be pretty good. It's good, but I don't really... I don't really know what that tastes like. I can't place exactly what this tastes like. Now, it says to use non-alcoholic version of Caracal. I could not find any, but you could obviously do that. If you can find it, you can make a non-alcoholic version. I'm just trying to place exactly what this tastes like, because I know what this taste is. I've had this taste before, I just can't place exactly what it is. I'd say the closest thing it's to would be like a sparkling white wine but without very much of a taste of alcohol in it. So that, that's the closest thing I could say to it. Now, it's good. Like I said, it's actually very good. I'm just trying to figure out exactly what it actually is. So I would highly recommend this recipe. Like I said, you can easily make a non-alcoholic version if you don't want to use the alcoholic Caracal. It's very easy. It only takes five ingredients, including ice that everyone has. Uh, and the sparkling grape juice, I had a little bit of trouble finding it, but I found it at the second store I checked. So it shouldn't be too big of a problem for you guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed this first drink recipe from the Destiny Cookbook, and I will see you next time for another drink recipe most likely, and a bit of a story with it.